What's going on guys? Um, currently it's like, I'm near, let me see. It's five to 10 at night. Um, probably really stupid to be starting working into the car at this time of night, but basically um, I'm off like this weekend. So um, trying to get a good bit of work done to it, to the Lexus, cause there's clean fest coming up in five, six weeks. Um, need to get ready for them. Picked up a new set of wheels for the car. And um, from the last video we've seen, we obviously, I was taking all the kit off, um, ended up just giving it straight to the body man and letting him, um, letting him just do his work because there was no point in me prepping it all perfectly. We did try and smooth the front bumper a wee bit. Um, but yeah, except for that, body kit's here. Um, let the, it's, that's it 10 o'clock at night, let just got the kit back. But something else to show you is so, Look at this first. Let's just picked up these wheels from a friend of mine, Rob. Um, just happen to be, they're pretty good offset, good size. Um, two different colors, because the backs are um, diamond cut, fronts are bronzy brown. So I've actually already got the other two of them split there at my house. Um, these two here I'd kept on just to try and um, get the fitment size right. So the rears is literally like, um, it's actually perfect. So it's sitting just, it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's sitting literally just above, or just slightly in. So whenever, um, to put a tiny bit more camber on it, it should pull it in perfectly. I'm um, sitting at a nice height, just good for driving. Front on the other hand, put it off with, um, you can kind of see in there, and we'll put a five mil spacer on. And it is hitting the brake caliber. Um, we've already tried shaving the caliber down and it's still hitting. So what then we picked up today, finally arrived, had to get some extended wheel studs because it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that Along here, the wheel's sitting out more because it's hitting the caliber. In the near future, I need to fire, well, probably tomorrow, be a different video, um, fire these on to the front. And then I've got another five mils, which should make it up to the 10. That's just to test it, just to make sure the fit. Um, because at the minute, I'm only getting about three turns um, on one of the nuts there. It's just not enough to hold the wheel on. So back to what we're actually doing today. Um, body kit has literally just been painted. As you can see, the car is sitting here. Um, need to move the trailer out of the way and get the car pulled out and put the standard wheels back on so I can move it out. But bumpers are back, side skirts are back, whole kit's back, spoiler's back. So it's stupid o'clock at night, but we're going to fire it on. So I'll show you it first. Obviously, the chrome pieces are missing, There's still bits taped up on them, but see what it looks like. And then we'll take into putting bumpers back on. Might not get the lips and stuff put on tonight, but um, as long as we get the bumpers put back on, it just means that tomorrow we've already got the bond over there, um, a tiger seal or whatever it is, um, to just fire them on. It depends what time we stay here till, um, but I kind of need help. So I'm waiting on Piers coming back. Still need to get something to eat. And you can kind of see in the background, we literally just went and picked up his engine for this is the S7 because it's K20. Um, Need a new crankshaft, so it was way getting built by another guy. Also, from the last video, that was silver, not yellow. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, he's still waiting on. He needs a light and flywheel for it, um, and I think that's more or less it. And then we can put it in, but we can't put the gearbox on until we get the light and flywheel. Um, so that'll be kind of in the future, hopefully over the next couple of weeks. Update the same car as well, it's the same. Um, his engine's away getting uh, completely rebuilt. Uh, something wrong with the, that needed a heli coil in the head, this, or the block, and can't, well, I didn't really listen. But anyway, yeah, let's move this, and then we'll catch back up when we've got it, everything moved out. Um, 
here till about seven. It was like half three last night. It's like ten o'clock now. The next morning, got the front bumper on. You've seen the last clip there. Um, basically, couldn't really go a whole pile further because the back bumper we were waiting on the diffuser bonding to it, and um, just wasn't dry enough last night. Um, we did put one side skirt on. Um, I'll show you the process of doing that thereafter because we did have an issue where we had the trim. So basically in the actual arch here, the standard one, as you can see here, we had to cut this off the standard arch. Um, so what I'm going to do now is the front bumper. Actually, I still haven't got it bolted in. I've got like three bolts holding it in place. Um, so I'm going to button them up and then probably move on to the back bumper and see what it's like. I'm going to pull the tape off the side skirt here first and see what it looks like. See, the front bumper's actually come out pretty good. The lip is actually like really, really good fit. Um, fit and kit. Only thing we did, done a tiny mark here, which I spoke to the body man last night. He's gonna try and touch that in. Color match seems pretty spot on. Needs stand, obviously the standard paint needs buffed, but side skirt as well. Looking pretty good. It's just nice. It's just a wee tiny addition to it. Only issue we we'll have here is there's still a wee bit with this part of the skirt sitting out, so um, I do need to put the screw in at the end, still like where the standard one was. There's a hole for it, so I need to drill that out. But I'm going to try to get the front one um, all bolted in. So just had to take a quick run to Halfords because tomorrow we're actually going drifting, so I had to get the number plate from the trailer. Um, don't have a clue where I might have went for this. this um, also, I had to get some auto salt because try and polish the lips of the new wheels. Um, probably in the next video. But this one, I uh, went and got Alfred own chrome strips. Um, it's actually the exact same diameter um, as the strips that came off the Lexus, so I had to take them off for painting. Um, basically, and whenever you take them off, you know the bend and leave marks on it, so uh, it's easier just to buy new ones. And there's some width, so grab them, fire them on there, and that should be basically the bumpers more or less finished. Um, and if they're a lot shinier, then I'll probably just change the ones that are on the doors as well with the same, the same style. So from the last clip that like you just seen, it's as per usual. A couple of days later, um, front is on, this side skirt's on, and the back is on, um. Basically, I never finished it because we wanted to put on the last side skirt and it still shows part of the original side skirt, which I'm going to show you now, um, which I'm going to have to now get painted because I thought it would have been covered with the new skirt, but that's my own fault. I never checked it and I never got them to paint it. Um, so I have to get it painted before I can put the new side skirt on to this far side and then that's basically it done. I need to put a wee bit of sealer around the back as well because just the shape of the bumper, trying to get it to... Um, hold this place correctly on the back bumper, I'll show you that. So you can see, it's just sitting out just a wee bit here, so if we put a bit of sealer on it, it'll pull it in nice and tight, but once we get the tips on to the back of it, it'll look a hell of a lot better. It's absolutely stinking already, even though we washed it. Um, it's just the dust in here, but this is what I'm talking about at this side, so I had to trim the original skirt anyway to fit it, but as you can see, this like wasn't lacquered properly, the paints came off it compared to like up here. So you can still see from like about here up. So I need to get this bit painted. And um, literally just picked the chrome strips up from Halford. The front one I actually cut it slightly too short, but they're like the perfect like width for um, the car. So I'm gonna have to do the side ones now as well because now the side doesn't look as shiny as basically the front. So that's more or less it. I'll give you a quick, like, couple of snippets here of the car, but um, that's the kit basically fitted. There's no point in keeping this video going just to get the next skirt painted and put on because it's just getting bonded on. Um, next video, we need to take apart two more of the, the wheels. So one there and one there. And then gonna get the faces of them acid dipped and get them painted. I've already got the other two split. So I'll show you how I split them. I'll bring these with me and get them dipped and then hopefully we'll see them getting painted back together. And we still have to put on extended wheel studs, so we'll do that next too. Um, and then last but not least, we've got the exhaust to put on, which 
hopefully Simon's going to be doing next week, which should catch it. But anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you hit the comment. Make sure you comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe. Great. Thanks.